Yo, Kush Security, I hope you're watching. Up yours. Man, I hate hackers. I mean, who would steal someone's YouTube account? Something they put in hundreds of hours, thousands of hours working on in order to create content to send a positive message for other people to enjoy. I mean, it's just absurd. Something that Rob has put his heart and soul into was taken from him. The good news is he'll be getting it back very soon, if he hasn't already got it back by now, which he might have by the time I post this video. But whoever is responsible for this, I hope they die a very, very slow and painful death. But man, terrible way to start the morning. Right now, walking to the post office, I'm gonna pick up, check out what's in my P.O. box for the very first time. Six, three, seven, one. There it is. There we go. Whenever I'm in a bad mood, the thing that I've found that always helps me feel better is being near the water, even if I'm not fishing. So I'm gonna chill out here for a little bit, then I'm gonna get on with the rest of my day. I've got the uh, first ever mail to be sent to my P.O. box right here, sent by you bros. Go ahead and uh, take a look at him. See what we got here. Looks like there's an envelope and a picture. This is interesting. Oh, this is a return address envelope, so I'm thinking this dude wants me to send something back. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Dear Mike, hi, I'm Ava, plus your videos rock. I love your enthusiasm and excitement. I drew a picture and I copied it. I'm trying to get the whole Guggen Squad to sign it. I'm writing on the back of a fainted, of a something copy because that's all the paper I had. If you could sign the pre-addressed, pre-stamp, sign the good copy and resend the, oh, send it back in the pre-addressed envelope. Um, that would mean the world to me. All you need to do is sign it and put your put it in your mailbox with the flag up. Oh, thank you. I do know how to sign a. Uh, I do know how to send a send a letter back or send a piece of mail. But I appreciate you being extra careful. Thanks and keep it up. You're an inspiration. I was gonna give you a dollar, but I ran out. I appreciate it. And to be honest, handwriting these letters mean a lot more to me than any amount of money could. So I really appreciate it. And let me take a look at uh, the good copy, which is right here. So this is a copy that Avon wants the Guggen Squad to sign. It's a hand-drawn picture of largemouth bass. It's actually pretty good. You got the uh, big mouth, you got the lateral line here. The coloring looks good. Uh, is, that on, is that with crayon? What is this with? I think that's with crayon. Good stuff, Ava. Alright. <laughs> Who is this sent from? This is from Ralph Che from Texas. <laughs> I'll just show it to you guys. This is what Ralph sent for me right here. So if you don't know what this is, I'm a, I'm a pretty big dork. I watch anime, I play computer games, but uh, what I love most is fishing. And uh, what Ralph drew is he looks like he drew uh, some type of anime character. I'm not sure if it's me or not. It might be me, might not be, uh, but he drew me with a fishing rod, bait caster with a fish on it, right there. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it, Ralph. It's a really good drawing. Good stuff, man. <laughs> All right, we got last one from Tyler, and he lives in Texas. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, looks like we got a uh, got a little bait here. All right, we've got. Let me read the note first, then I'll show you guys the bait. Dear One Rod, I'm Tyler, a huge fan of yours. I love all of your vids and tournaments. If you ever come to Texas, uh, let me know so we can uh, go to Lake Mackenzie. Also, I sent you a watermelon worm, swivel clip, and my favorite hooks. Thanks for reading, Tyler. Hey, Tyler. Thanks again for the hook, and if I'm ever in Texas, I'll definitely let you know we can hit up Lake Mackenzie. I've never heard of it, but uh, if it's in Texas, I'm sure there's some decent big bass around. 
And uh, here's the hook right here. It's an interesting. Uh, this is an interesting design hook. Not too familiar with it. And we got his uh, favorite watermelon worm. Uh, this is not a zoom, I don't think. I'm not too familiar with uh, with this exact worm. I don't have my rods with me, otherwise I'd uh, take this worm out and throw a couple casts right over to that weed line right there by the island. But uh, for real guys, thank you so much for sending me those letters. I was in a bad mood when I came here, but I'm actually feeling a lot better now. Big thanks to you for sending me this stuff. Really, really appreciate it. Alright, I'm in a good mood, geese. You guys are okay today. So I'm gonna head back and uh, we gotta prepare for a big trip. I'm leaving tomorrow, I'm going international. So, tomorrow morning, my flight leaves at 4 a.m. Rob and I are gonna be going to Monterey, Mexico to do some serious bass fishing. Let's go ahead and take a look at a map of it. And it looked pretty interesting. So, here it is right here. The thing that was most interesting about it was I really didn't see any bodies of water. If you can see, there's not a single body of water in this entire region. So I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be fishing. Actually, Rob's not really sure either, but uh, the dude we're going with apparently says uh, it's, it should be pretty good. It's like way down here. I'm sure we'll figure it out uh, one way or the other. The one thing I was concerned about was uh, the safety of uh, traveling to Mexico. Let's see, travel warning, let's see what it says a little bit. Warns the using safety, security, violent crime, kidnapping, homicide, carjacking, robbery, hmm, okay. General conditions, all right, safely visit Mexico each year. Tourist destinations, I don't know how touristy the fishing spots are gonna be. Engage in current serious problems can occur everywhere. Innocent persons have been killed. Number of murdered in Mexico is 100. It looks like 100 each year, which is, I don't think if there's millions visiting, that number doesn't really scare me. Um, gun battles between rival criminal organizations. U.S. citizens are encouraged to lower their personal profiles and avoid displacing indicators of wealth, expensive jewelry, watches, or cameras. All right, blah. All right Rob, uh, you might have to cool down the vlogging for this trip. Maintain awareness of the surroundings, isolated stand-up potential victims, kidnappings, traditional express and virtual kidnappings. Carjacking and highway robbery are serious problems in many parts of the border region. Your citizens have been murdered in such incidents. Comply, comply with carjackers' demands. Alright, so if I get carjacked, let them have whatever they want. Noted. Alright, state-by-state -state assessment of security conditions. So I'm going into Monterey. Let's just take a look at that one. Here we go, Nuevo Leon, Monterey is a major city slash travel destination. Exercise caution in the state of Nuevo Leon. Governor President of Travel City only during daylight hours on toll road. Must return to city of San, San Pedro Garza Garcia municipal boundaries to abide by a curfew of 1 a.m. and 6 a.m. All right, so we got a little curfew, not a big deal. Uh, let's get packing. I've just about finished packing up. Let me show you what I'm uh, bringing along. Got extra plastics right there. A bag with uh, my laptop and uh, chargers and whatnot. Nothing in there. Got my reels right here. Uh, some extra stuff, tripod, surge protector. Here, got all my camera gear, except for the, uh, well the camera I'm holding can go in here as well. Then clothing, just brought the minimum amount, seven pairs of socks, six pairs of shorts, six pairs of shirts, and uh, five pairs of underwear. Might be a little short on those, but should be all right. Oh, and as for rods, unfortunately, United Airlines is not allowed for full-size rod tubes, so I'm gonna have to bring some travel rods right here. And the reason why they're laying out in the sun is because last time I came back from the Bahamas, the airline lost my lost my rod tube. They had to find it and mail it back, and I haven't opened it since. And somehow water got in it, so uh, there's actually mold growing on the cork down there, which I cleaned off. Pretty gross, but uh, should be all right now. I'm gonna pack all this stuff up. And uh, oh, one more thing I gotta show you guys. This is the best part. Final thing for today, I need to unbox what's in here. I'll give you a hint. It's something that's gonna help me catch a 10 pound bass. I've been chasing that my entire life. And I think this trip might be the time to do it. Check out what's in this box.
I'm in Mexico. I'm gonna try to get up videos every day of the trip. If there's internet, if there's not, then you'll have to wait. But I'm gonna try to do a lot of uploads while I'm down there. I'll be there for six days and hopefully doing a lot of fishing. I don't even know what exactly we're doing. I'm doing at least a little bit of fishing, hopefully a lot. So that's why I chose, I picked up some baits in here that are gonna help me catch some of those gigantic bass in Mexico. Oh, good one to start right here. We have the Duo Realis Onimasu. I got in a uh, yellow perch pattern because it kind of resembles the uh, tilapia that are down there. So I've never actually caught a big fish on a swim bait because there's not really a lot of waters that you can throw them in up here, but uh, definitely gonna do some swim bait fishing while I'm down there. I got a big crocodile spoon. Like I said, I don't know what type of conditions we're fishing. If it's gonna be deep, clear water, if it's shallow water, I have no idea. So I just wanna be prepared with some big baits to imitate, uh, try to catch some big fish or whatever is down there. And this is a gigantic plastic worm. This is a man's jelly worm right here. And the color pattern is in motor oil. It's a 12 inch worm. Extremely big worm. Big fish like big worms, right? Another pack of big worms. This is the Zumo Monster. It's kind of a uh, slightly smaller worm, about nine inches or so. Then uh, we got these baits which looked, which looked pretty interesting. El Grande Lures. Size does matter according to them. We got two packs of lizards right here. Well, uh, let's see, color patterns are El Salto Bruise and Gator Bruise. And these are, uh, these are nine inch lizards right here. Very thick bait. Gonna need a thick hook to go along with that for sure. So I picked up some swim baits too. I got a Reaction Innovation Skinny Dipper and Big Dipper. So here's the uh, standard. You probably, a lot of you have probably used this before, the Skinny Dipper. And this is the Big Dipper, which comes with slightly less baits, but in a bigger size. Again, kind of a, kind of mimicking, trying to mimic a uh, tilapia. As for hooks, got some uh, gammies, 6 aught and 7 aught right here. Extra wide gap hooks. Then I also got 6 aught and 7 aught spring lock hooks, which are actually a little bit easier to rig up big baits I found and helps keep it on the hook a little bit better. Big pack of Zoom Magnum Flukes. I think you guys can probably see a trend now on the uh, types of baits I'm selecting. And uh, this one actually fell out of the package right here. I guess the uh, VMC packaging wasn't too good, but uh, basically some spin jig hooks to go with the swim baits. So this would be for more deep water type stuff, which I have a feeling if we're gonna catch a giant fish, it's gonna be in deep water this time of year. Whoops. All right, you guys saw them right there. And three more items here. Here's the next two. Some uh, suffix braid. This is a 50 pound braid and some Seeger Tatsu 25 pounds. I like to use this line for leader material even though it's not leader material. It holds up really well. And finally, last but not least, we have the Gambler 16 inch Anaconda right here. This is 16 inches of bait right here. Two pack. It is a gigantic freaking monster bait. I'm gonna have to throw in some, uh, some uh, what do you call it, stinger hooks or something if I'm, if I'm gonna throw this bad boy in there. That's it for the unboxing. Hopefully I can catch some big fish while I'm down there. Fingers crossed. And uh, oh, one final thing. Then uh, I'll see you guys out. All right, Ava, signed and going back to you. Flags up, good to go.